Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. And today, can you see what's behind me? We've got a rail full of new in H&M things. Um, some I've worn, some I haven't even tried on yet. So I thought today we could go through them all, try them on, style them as I go and show you how I'm gonna wear them. I always used to do my hauls like this, like show you the outfit in the mirror and then I kind of changed format a little bit. But today I just really fancied showing you in the mirror because I like to be able to talk through the item whilst I'm wearing it, if that makes sense. And also, this isn't actually that new, but I've got this huge mirror now. It's from William Wood Mirrors. They have like the best mirrors, especially like huge ones. And this is like ginormous and it's so heavy. Um, so I can really like show you the outfit in all its glory. A couple of things before we start, as always, all of the links to the products will be linked down below. And also, I'm not gonna keep all these items. I just, like, I don't like trying on clothes in changing rooms. I don't really enjoy shopping in shops that much. I much prefer to have, like, order it online, try it on at home, like, try it on with some clothes I've already got to make sure that I'm gonna love it and get my wear out of it. So I've just got loads of new bits, so let's just try them on and have a look at them together. So first of all is this outfit which I really really love and I've actually worn these trousers quite a lot already so if you follow me over on Instagram you probably would have seen them but I will say that this style of trouser is like you know a little bit different for me. I'm more of like a straight leg trouser kind of gal and although these are a straight leg they're almost like a straight wide leg not like a straight tapered leg but I like it. I think that they work. What I would say is how I think that they work for me is that the top half, you can't have anything like too long. I know the blazer's long, but broken up by the blazer being open with the t-shirt here. I think if you were to put on a big jumper like this, it would just not look very flattering. So I do think with these kind of trousers, you sort of need to wear a top that kind of shows off your waist, if that makes sense. This t-shirt is from H&M, and let me untuck it and show you. Let me just show you the difference. So it, this is what it looks like here. It makes my legs look kind of short and like my body look super long. But if we just kind of, I, I'm not doing this very neat because it's one handed, but if we just kind of roll that up and let's just like tuck that in there. Let me just stand back and then show you the difference. Like, it's a lot more flattering, um, and it makes your legs look a lot longer, and I don't have long legs. Um, so for me, I think that this is how this kind of style of trouser is gonna work. So, so trousers are, I'm wearing a size 10. Um, they are a really, really soft faux leather, nice and high-waisted. And then the t-shirt that I just showed you, also H&M, it's a long-sleeved t-shirt. I really like long-sleeved t-shirts, especially as we're coming into spring because on those slightly warmer days like maybe like a t-shirt is pushing it a bit but a long sleeve t-shirt I feel like it's just a little bit more covered but if it's a bit warmer it's a really nice one to go for and then I've just gone with this kind of I'm gonna call it long line blazer um over the top it's a really really nice color it's got this tortoise shell button it's just single breasted if you are looking for a neutral blazer in your wardrobe definitely check this one out and if you are more on the taller side this one might be a good option for you because it's slightly more long line but don't worry petite gals i think it's also fine for us um just for reference i am five foot four but as we said it needs to be i think broken up with some think shorter here. I really really love this blazer however I do have so many neutral blazers. The t-shirt and trousers are a definite yes and then the blazer I think as much as I love it uh, I think it's gonna go in the maybe pile. So next up we've got this cute little wrap over cardigan. I don't have anything in my wardrobe like this and I thought that this one would be really nice to transition into spring. I've kept my leather trousers on um, which aren't very spring-like but with like white or cream jeans or blue jeans 
this is really nice. I just, I think it fits really nice. And also, I'm not gonna open too much, don't, don't wanna flash yet, but in here is a little tie up. So it's quite, oh, I'll probably, probably easier to show you under here. So it's quite secure, the, the wrap. And then you can just kind of tuck it under. And I really like this kind of thick material. So you get this really gorgeous bow. If sometimes you find that just knits are a bit shapeless and they don't really suit you, then perhaps you could try something like this. I really love this because it does have a bit more shape. It's really gorgeous and like feminine, but not like overly girly, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, really, really like this one. Okay, so I've moved out of the faux leather trousers into some wide leg black trousers. These are more of like a tailored trouser, but with a wide leg. And because I don't want them to look overly smart, like I'm not wearing them to an office, which you totally could, but how I'm trying to style them is in like a more of a, you know, smart casual way. So therefore I've added on some trainers and I think Converse work really, really well with the wide leg trouser trend that we are seeing at the minute. There's so many different versions of wide leg trousers going around and they're definitely going to be sticking around for a while. And then I think come spring, a nice lightweight tailored trouser with a wide leg is gonna be super popular. Um, so right now, like as we're kind of in the winter, I'm going black with black and white converse, but come spring, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be coming out in some gorgeous pastel soft kind of pastely pop colors. I expect to see the wide leg trouser around for a little bit and I, I really like it. It's a really kind of modern take on the current tailored trouser and I like it. And then on the top, I've paired it with this lovely cream jumper. I had a jumper like this from H&M last year in a different color, but this kind of similar neckline and I wore it loads. And again, coming into spring, this time next month, it's gonna be mid-March. Today's actually tipping it down. So I hope in a month today, we're gonna be looking at some longer, lighter, warmer days and lightweight like knits like this are perfect for that. Okay, so I've kept the cream jumper on and now I've just added in this gorgeous skirt. And this is something a bit different for me. If you follow me for a while, you'll know my style is very comfy, casual, but still kind of, I try to make it like smart and elegant at the same time. And this is something different for me. I really, really like it and I love it with the Converse. And also I recently styled this skirt up in like a going out outfit ideas, but I styled the skirt with some black ankle boots and in a second I'll pop a leather jacket over the top. And I just really love having this super like gorgeous feminine skirt on and then just toughening. Why does that word sound so weird? Toughening it up with like some black boots or Converse um, and a leather jacket over the top. This is a really nice way that you could dress this skirt down. Of course, if you have more of a dressy style, you'll probably wear it with like heels or something. But I just wanted to share a different way that you could style it in a slightly more kind of casual and relaxed style. But anyway, let's move on to the leather jackets. A leather jacket is in my wardrobe all year round. And I have got my favorite one from um, Bash Paris that I've had for a couple of years and it's incredible. Um, but I did see this more biker style one on H&M, so I wanted to give it a little go. This is real leather, and a biker jacket is something that I definitely would invest a bit more money in because it's something that will last you a really long time. Um, and this fits so, so nicely. I do need to kind of sort out what's going on here. I might thread that bit, like, back through. Feels really nice. It's quite thick and feels premium and it just hangs really nicely as well. Another really lovely transitional item uh, to take into spring is this gorgeous crocheted little cardigan. I love tortoiseshell buttons and that's what is on here. It's really, really cute. It's very kind of lightweight and loose um, and you could wear it down, tuck it in, Really, really love this. This has definitely got spring written all over it and I'm very much here for it. H&M are really good for their tailored trousers and this is a new colorway that I have picked up. It's a really nice dark charcoal gray. Again, I've paired them with Converse. I think 
like if you're not sure what shoe to wear with something i just don't think that you can go wrong with converse and that's what i have done with these this outfit would also look really nice like with a white tee and then the biker jacket with these trousers these are super lightweight and actually really easy to wear um so i think these are going to be really nice one for spring and i've also got an elasticated waistband which you know me love an elasticated waistband next up is the jumper that everyone has gone mad for so i don't know if it will be in stock i missed out on it the first time that it came in stock but i added it to my saved basket every day i went onto my saved items and then one day there it was in stock so um yeah if it's not in stock now add it to your saved baskets and then like if they restock or if there's any returns you'll be able to see it in your app love it so much i'm really really loving stripes at the moment if you follow me on instagram you'll definitely have seen that because yeah i'm just obsessed with a little stripe at the minute this is a size small but it is quite big like look at the arms like it is quite oversized so you definitely do not need to size up on it these are their slim mom jeans and um i got these in white last year or the year before and they're such a nice fit and i think they're only about 20 pounds um i'm wearing a size 10 they are a little bit snug on the waistband but i think with wear they will give but what i really like about them is the leg they're just a very nice kind of tapered straight leg for me i really kind of only wear blue jeans in spring summer it's a bit of hair they just don't work that well in my autumn and winter wardrobe. They're not something that I wear a lot. Over the colder months, for me, I think they just work better in a spring and summer wardrobe. So I don't know how many times I've said spring in this video. If you can't tell, I'm very excited for spring to arrive. And then I have got the same jumper, but in a different colour. And again, missed out on the first time that this was available. So when I finally was able to get it, I could only get it in a size medium. And I just don't know whether the smaller medium is actually that different. Actually, I do think it is. It's quite a lot wider. Like, there's quite a lot of material there. Um, but this is such a gorgeous colour. I really, really love high neck knits i just think they're so snuggly um, and if stripes aren't for you or you just prefer to wear plainer colors then perhaps this is a nice option also really like this look as another spring look are we on count of how many times i've said spring um let me just grab a bag actually to finish this look okay so i've got my bag and i think this is such a cute little spring outfit i'm gonna bank this one in my mind for when the slightly warmer weather comes to be honest you could actually wear this now i've got something else on the rail that will go with this outfit one sec my spring outfit is complete so when i saw this uh jacket on h&m i thought well that looks really familiar so i got something like this i can't remember if it was last year or the year before from h&m wore it to death it sold out really quickly and um so when i saw this i thought that's quite similar but obviously i'm not going to keep this because i've got one almost identical but i wanted to get it to show you guys that if you missed out on the one last year this is very very similar it's a really nice color and fabric it's got a tie-in as well so you can cinch it in at the waist it's a, this is absolutely beautiful and such a lovely lightweight spring jacket that i think will really kind of add elegance and chicness to many of your spring looks and then the final item to show you today is a little cream shacket and a shacket is short for shirt and jacket <laughs> just in case you didn't know lovely kind of off-white creamy color you've got these lovely big pockets and i really like the kind of split here as well i love that it just gives it a bit more movement i've got super chunky knit underneath which is feeling a bit tight i probably wouldn't wear such a chunky knit um, underneath as you can see the big sleeves are just like spilling out of it but if you prefer like a shorter line jacket rather than like a longer trench that i just had on then this would be such a lovely option getting you ready for spring i literally feel like that's all i've said all throughout this video is spring 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 
And then I also picked up this really nice little tote bag and I just really like the simplicity of it. Okay, so that is everything to share with you from today's haul. Um, I'm actually going to rename this to like a transitional H&M haul because so many of the pieces are perfect to take into spring and you're going to get lots of wear out of them because lots of them you are able to mix and match. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As I said earlier, all of the product links will be linked below. If you don't already, I'd love if you could subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!